your heroes were not necessarily animated figures, right? They were more like Jackie Gleason. Yeah, I was a big Gleason fan. Gleason used to drink. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, I mean, it's, I'm, boy, which, you've gone far afield from that. <laughs> It's, which makes it okay. No, Seth likes to, when you are public speaking, you're, yeah. not, you're not shy about this. No, no. I, you were on my show recently, and yeah. after you got up, the floor was littered with little Jack Daniels bottles. <laughs> because Seth likes to drink when he's publicly speaking. Yeah. Or yeah. privately speaking. Or turning on a lamp. He just <laughs> likes to drink. And, 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 and what I love about him is he doesn't mix it like a lot of people no. do. It's just a glass of liquor, like in the Old West. Yeah, yeah. I use, I use, I, it's, I use Use those whiskey stones, those things you, you freeze in the fridge and you put them in so they don't melt, but they cool off the drink. But yeah, is this because you you you, you have stage fright? You're you're really a shy person. No, it's just heart? more fun. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. <laughs> Seth reminds me of myself about like two days ago. <laughs> when I was still drinking to excess, but okay. Um, now let's talk about how Family Guy was developed, its early life, and what happened after the show got canceled. Does anyone here on the panel want to tell a, a horrifying story about those days? <laughs> this, is about, this is about the show getting started? Well, well we did develop the show at Hanna-Barbera. Right. On, while well, getting paid for... Technically, I guess means they own it, right? <laughs> it does. Yeah. Um, oh no, it was, <laughs> it was completely in your free time, dude. <laughs> well, as far as they're concerned. Well, let's talk about its early rocky road oh. because it wasn't a smooth path well, to where it is today. There's a. This is one of, actually one of, one of my favorite stories. When I when I was when I was working there, it was right around the time that Hanna Barbera was. They were trying to get themselves back into the the the, the prime time business. Obviously, they they've been out for a while, and they right. they had, they were having this resurgence on Cartoon Network, and they said, "Let's get back into the prime time business." And and I said, "Well, you know, I have this this this." Show Family Guy this 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 idea that that might you know fit that fit that bill and and there was a new development head who had just taken over Hanna Barbera this guy Adam Shapiro who was coming from New York and he goes all right sounds like a Jew <laughs> <laughs> he was typical the, Hollywood story go ahead he was the absolute Jewiest <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and uh, and he said, "All right, you know, I'm I'm the guy who was charged with this. We'll take you over to Fox. And I've not, I've never I had never been over to the Fox lot before. And there, there's a big mural that has a picture of uh, the, the the climactic scene of The Empire Strikes Back with Luke Skywalker having the lightsaber duel with Darth Vader. And Adam says to me, "All right, let's see. I'll meet you over at Fox. Uh, where where do I meet you? There's there's a big um, there's a big mural over there. It's got uh, it's got Captain Kirk fighting swords with Buck Rogers. I'll meet you under there." <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I went to Fox. The only thing I had done up to that point was I had done some, some shorts at Hanna-Barbera. I had written on uh, Johnny Bravo, which is where I met Kara. Um, and I used to work for Kara, and she would give me shit about being, you know, two hours late ev every day. <laughs> and so I thought, okay, this is, this is, if I ever am running a show, this is the person I want giving other people shit for being late 24 hours a day. You want me to still be she giving still you shit. But let's talk about the near-death experience that this show had, right? Because uh, it well, was... not I mean, it was like straight-up death. It wasn't near-death. It was like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, we narrowly avoided that. It was, it was like, oh, really, the show was canceled? Oh, that sucks. I like that show. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> you know? the, but you had other things to go to. Yeah. Me? You know, so you, you know, you, know, you had a, a big career in movies and well, so forth. I mean, and you know, now you had I... Austin Powers and you know some of these other people. It must have been a lot more frightening. That's, that's very sweet of you to say. You uh, <laughs> but but when you get, you know, it's rare that you get opportunities to work on something that you really love, that you think is special and super funny. And when I first read this script, I mean, I, did you feel the same way? No. No, no, no. <laughs> I, was, I was so excited to get this job, and then when we got canceled, it was genuinely heartbreaking, because I thought, oh man, we just, it's just not our time. Right. Yeah. When, you, when you were running when Family I... Ties, that's how you, remember you used to say that. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in the bag. 